It looked like that. It looked exactly oh, like that. Yeah, we built it. Oh, we've been building it. We've been building it. Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex or Mars Bar, and today, as you can tell by the excitement in my voice, oh, I'm really, really excited. This is episode one of building the ultimate, in quotation marks, well, my ultimate, home cinema in my house. Right, so Luke's here. Um, we're gonna be in Stoolini. Right, you mean Stoolini? You can take that one. I'll be taking this one. Put that one there. What's this one? Oh, it's big foot. Oh, he's in Stoolini. <laughs> okay, we've got some. We've got. Actually, it's quite big in here, isn't it? Exactly. It is actually quite big. Oh, yeah. Big walk to wall coming in a minute. I love it. Right. No, it's fine. You don't send that text. You hold this. Okay, so I want to apologize for the kitchen being really, really messy. We've got something to do today, but before we go ahead and do that, I need to show you through here, so follow me. This is the lounge. As you guys know, you've just seen some sort of crazy montage of Luke, me and the boys, had the boys round. We put this TV on the wall. It looks sick. It's covering the window. The TV wasn't quite big enough. I know it's a bit of a pun because it's goddamn huge. It doesn't cover the whole window, so I'm gonna have to get some sort of like wood to go in here and fill this out, and this is gonna be like a shelf. But the whole problem is now with this, for a cinema room, you need dark rooms. Dark rooms? You need a dark room. So this room isn't dark, we need to paint it. Um, that's what we're doing today, Cat. But it's okay, Toby's gone ahead and uh, you've done a pretty good job, bro. Tidying everything up, we can go around the edge of the room. Let's mask off this. Take the telly back off the wall, and then we shall just paint this room. And then we are, yeah, we're getting there. Making a start. This is awesome. It's super dark in here, but we have been painting it right after a gym session. Oh, sorry, I'll give the camera to Toby. Right, please excuse the three bad bits on the roof. There's like two lights and one smoke detector, so I need to take them down and paint around them. But other than that, we are almost there. So I have just, uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So I've just chiseled out, guys, as you can see here, down the wall, and at the top and bottom, there's two circles. So what's gonna go in here is essentially an HDMI cable and an Ethernet cable and the power for the TV, the 85-inch panel, which I've turned on right now just to test this HDMI cable to make sure it works. And I've just put this picture of my car on the TV. Look at the quality of this. If you go right up to the number plate, you can see so the main problem with this is that because the walls are black and it actually demonstrates the reason we've done the walls, such a dark color, black and dark gray, because as you can tell in here, it's really, really dark. Now, if the walls were white, these lights were on, it wouldn't seem so dark in here. Now, why? Black, because black well absorbs light. That's the whole point of, to why you paint a cinema in black. So when you sat in here, it's pitch black. All you're looking at, all you've got to focus on is the TV, makes it really immersive. Why do you think cinemas are black? For this exact reason. So that is why we're doing things in this colour. And I've got this light here to try and give me just a little bit more light because it is so dark in here. Like without that, it's bad. This is what a hard day of painting does to you. <laughs> How do you feel? Knackered. Yeah. 20k has done me in as well though. The, paint, the painting's just finished me off. Yeah? Should we get the telly on the wall? Yeah, let's get the TV on the, the wall. Telly on the wall, then we'll show it. 
This is absolutely the biggest telly in the world. <laughs> oh, like, look how big it is. It's just <laughs> too big. Right, I need to be going in there with you. It's one thick boy. Okay, this is it, the moment of truth, the moment we've all been waiting for. The black TV on the black wall. Is it going to look good? Is it going to look bad? Well, let's find out. I think that's on. That's on, isn't it? It's on. <laughs> there you go. Mate, it's mental. So big. So as you lot can see, the TV is on the wall. Now Alex, how is it on the wall? Well, it's actually covering up a window, as you lot can see right here. By the way, this TV is huge, 85 inches. It's very, very heavy. So we actually have my friend Luke come round, build a frame around the window to support the TV. Now obviously, that could be a little bit dangerous if the frame doesn't support the weight of the TV. So we wanted to do all of these little things, like get the blinds in, get this TV here, make sure it was all gonna be safe before we start the series. And now we've got the green light, we are ready to go. And as you guys can see down here, there's a whole host of different things. We've got Nintendo Switches, we have got this, this is a computer game and computer. We've got an Xbox 360, we've got two Xbox 360s actually. We're big fans of Guitar Hero. We want to have an entertainment cabinet with all the consoles in, like retro, like Nintendo Wii, everything to come in and play in the cinema room. So this series is gonna get dirty with tech. There's gonna be so much stuff going on. Talking about that, as you can see, there's a 15 inch subwoofer here. Like I could fit inside of this box. We've got to install this and a whole host more things. But before any of that, Luke is coming round because we want to drop the ceiling. We want to have a full on cinema seating in here. Now, listen, this series is going to be really, really cool. So drop a like, let us know you're watching down there and you're enjoying in the comments. We need to get to the garage. So guys, why is the garage involved? Well, let me tell you for two reasons. First reason is that, well, if you come over here, um, there's these really big speakers. They just, well, they're, they're just here, these big ones. So this used for storage, the garage, for all of the equipment that we're gonna be putting in to the cinema room, but it's being stored in here for now. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is for storing the things that we need to take out of the cinema room, like the TV, and store them in this room whilst Luke is dropping the ceiling. This is mental, I can't believe I'm saying this. But this room is, uh, well, as you can see, it's kind of dirty. We need to uh, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, we need to try and get some of this stuff out of this room. Like, that is the box for the 85-inch Samsung TV. We need to go with all of this stuff to the skip so this room can be used as storage. Luke is coming in two hours. <laughs> as we speak, right now. And there we go, all delivered. Okay, so, look, the room is actually big. I thought this room was quite small, but as you guys can see, I'm a small guy, I'm only like, Five foot eight, but I think when you've got the things in here, it obviously makes it seem a little bit smaller. And the fact that this TV is just so ginormous, like, please bear in mind, guys, we're not projectoring this home cinema. This is a proper screen job. 85 inches, this thing is. And actually, right now, we need to take it off the wall because Luke will be here any second to start the ceiling work. Ding dong, ding dong. It's actually massive, isn't it? This room. It's huge. Really big. Yeah, we're literally saying that like, you can stride across it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's got a. Got a bit of girth to it. I'm holding it, I'll be holding it. Right, I'm coming over now. Oh, here we go. Right, so uh, about a week ago, funnily enough, Luke was here. It was about a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah. And we uh, we made the plan. There you go, it's on screen. That is what all of the wood is outside that's just been delivered. So Luke is building a dropped ceiling in this room, and it's gonna have an LED strip around the top of it, it's gonna look dope. It'll look like that. It'll look exactly oh, like that. Oh, exactly like that. Yeah, we've built it. Oh, we've yeah. been building it, we've been building it, we've sorted it. So, we built it, there's any that we built it. <laughs> Okay, so Toby's saying that obviously we are lowering the ceiling a little bit, and the ceiling is quite low anyway, so um, fullness could be a slight issue. 
can be equal that way and equal that it's way. It's in proportion with sense. the room though, isn't it? It's in it? proportion, yeah. Because it's a it's not a square room. No, yeah. So it works fine. Yeah. Perfect. So you're happy with that, yeah? Yeah. Why does everything, why is everything we do just absolutely mental? <laughs> right, we're into the shop, we've got some more stuff, let's resume. So as you guys can see, that weather out there looks like it's turning a little worse for wear. We're in here, we're still cracking on, we've taken a short trip to home base to get some more bits, but this is the roof of the cinema room. Well, the dropped roof, or the drop ceiling of the cinema room. It has now been made. It is essentially this thick and looks awesome. And what we need to do is attempt to get the frame up onto the roof so then we can find some suitable place up there to drill in the frame. So Luke has bought these scaffold, what are these called Luke man? These are mental. To be honest I don't know, I think they're like, I think they're called props or something. Are you a bit, are you a bit worried? I am a little bit, yeah. Right. So guys we're really struggling to find the uh, <laughs> <laughs> to find a suitable, a suitable material to drill into. <laughs> Um, so Luke's got this mental. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can literally see up in the in the roof void up there. That's crazy. What can you see, Luke? What? what are, you, are you making sense of this? No, not really. It's just this is just mental. No, we, we need it all painted black today. We're finished. No, sorry. This is sounding no, job no, off. That is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's mental. This all needs sanding yet. It can't no, be. no, it needs to no. be painted it black and, yeah, and, and sanding it off, and it's all Luke oh, like a, a, a oh, since I've gone ahead and picked up the camera just because Luke and I have had to really really concentrate on this because there's a lot of things going on so essentially this as you guys can see is a wooden frame that we have put on the roof we're gonna have a cool light box around it an LED strip we're gonna put spotlights in it but this is more than just to make the room look pretty and make it feel like a cinema room it actually serves a purpose the fact that this is now dropped gives Luke and I loads of scope to go ahead and put speakers in this piece as well as run the cables for the rear speakers which we already have done now down the wall and as you guys can see we've had to make a bit of a mess but these cables then come out into the roof box and then go all the way over here and there's one for that side too and then they go all the way over here and as you guys can see up there this has taken Luke and I ages to run all these cables through here and then if we just move this piece of board you can see all the cables come down here for the amplifier and if you guys can see right there, there's actually a plug socket with a label on it that says LEDs. That's the plug socket for the LED strip that's going to run around the edge of the box that's then controlled by that light switch. So getting all this to work and for all of it to fall into place has taken a lot of planning. And yes, we've done things wrong, we've learned from our mistakes, we've rectified things. It's now time for us to board all of our hard work and all of these dangling cables up here with this. Think it's going to hold? Yeah, okay, I trust you, I trust you. <laughs> In a secret place Somewhere only we know I could break away Feel our minds lose control I'm not asking for forever I just need So, guys, as you can see, well, if you all look up, we've painted the actual drop ceiling. Now this is starting to take shape now. You're probably thinking, Alex, why haven't you painted these bits in the middle? It's because we just do want to put a little bit more plaster here in these in these little places just to make sure that there's going to be sort of no discrepancies in the ceiling. Um, we want this thing to be absolutely perfect, if that makes sense. So the other day we actually installed the LED strip around, but we just laid it down. We wanted to see if it was going to be bright enough. Turns out it is going to be bright enough, but now what we need to do is actually super glue the LED strip round around the box, which again is going to take another sort of half an hour to do it properly. And it's just another time lapse job, isn't it? So. Oh, 
So guys, all of this so far has led to this very moment, and you're probably thinking, what is this very moment? And it is the end of this video. We're gonna go in there, everything is finished for episode one. Now obviously we're not finished yet, we've got a few more episodes to come, so you guys have got that to look forward to. But what I thought we'd do is go in there for the end of this episode, have a little bit of a chat about what we've gone through to get to this point. So, come with me. Oh, and also, before we go in, it's very, very dark in there, so uh, we've got a candle so you guys can see what's going on. So as you guys can see in here, if I just go ahead and get the door closed like that, it's very, very, very dark in here. So what's actually happened? Well, first off, if you guys can remember, we had a frame built for the TV, so the TV could be mounted over the window. Toby and I then had the gruelling job of painting the entire room, so the whole room, well, had to be painted black. And then we did the walls grey. So now we've got our TV over the window. Didn't quite cover the window though, we have to cover that later, and we'll talk to you guys about that in a second. We had to build numerous frames. One of them actually fell down, it was quite a surreal experience. It's got up there though, and then we had to paint that black. At the same time, we also ran all the cables for the Atmos speakers and the rear speakers in the room. We installed black out blinds and shutters to make sure it's super dark in here and by the way it's pretty much the middle of the day right now sun's out and uh, you guys shouldn't be able to see any sunlight and then if you guys just come over here with me you should be able to see just underneath the TV that we have made this window into a shelf down here so there we go the entire room is finished and obviously here is our well, 85 inch panel Okay, the magic begins right now when you say, Okay Google, turn on the lights. Sure, turning six lights on. say OK Google, set the lights to white. Here is the 85 inch TV mounted, frame or built. Then we built this sort of plasterboard thing down here that turned the window ledge into a shelf. Now the beauty of all of this is the mount for this TV can easily be taken out of the window frame and so can this. This is, can literally just be pulled out. So whenever I get rid of this house or if I ever do, then this can just be brought back to a normal double window really, really easily. Next thing was, well, room painted black. As you guys can see, the room is painted black with gray walls. It looks super, super cool. Then next, the blackout blinds. These are obviously a key part of all of this to make sure that no sun comes in here. Fun little fact actually, with the windows up, this room is still really, really nice to be in. After that, well, the ceiling was dropped. It looks super, super cool. We installed Atmo speakers, put the LEDs around the the box, this place just feels awesome. It feels exactly like a cinema. And as you guys can see down here, all the cables for the speakers, for the rear speakers and the Atmos speakers come out of the wall here and into the amplifier down there. It just all works really, really well. So this is just the start of something crazy. But for now, my name's been Alex. This has been part one of the Ultimate Home Cinema. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.